In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to use Google Finance. Whether you're a seasoned investor or just starting out, Google Finance offers a user-friendly platform to track your investments and stay informed about the market. So let's dive into the step-by-step -step process to get you set up and managing your own portfolio in no time. First things first, you'll need to navigate to Google Finance. You can do this by simply entering www.google.com slash finance into your web browser's address bar. This will take you directly to Google Finance's homepage, where you'll find a wealth of information about stocks, the market, and news related to finance. Once you're on the Google Finance page, the next action is to sign in. You'll find the sign in button located in the top right corner of the page. Clicking on this will prompt you to proceed with the login process. Google Finance uses your Google account for authentication. Therefore, at this point, you should choose the Google account you'd like to use for Google Finance. If you're already logged into your browser with a Google account, you may see it listed here. Otherwise, you can click on Use Another Account and log in with the credentials of the account you'd like to use for Google Finance purposes. After selecting your account, you'll be asked to enter your Google password. Make sure you input it correctly to proceed. It's part of the standard security measures to ensure that your financial information remains private and secure. With your password entered, go ahead and click on Next to continue. Congratulations! At this stage, you're signed in to Google Finance. Now the real fun begins. Once signed in, uh, you'll notice an option to create a new portfolio. This feature allows you to track specific investments and get real-time updates on their performance. Click on this to start setting up your first portfolio. Now it's time to give your portfolio a name. This can be anything that helps you recognize what this portfolio represents, such as retirement fund, tech stocks, or personal picks. Be creative but descriptive to help you easily manage multiple portfolios if you decide to create more in the future. With your portfolio named, click on Save. You've now created your very own investment portfolio on Google Finance, but it's a bit empty. Let's change that. Next, you'll want to add some investments to your portfolio. Look for the Add Investments button. This is where you can start populating your portfolio with stocks, bonds, or other securities you're interested in or already own. Click on this button to proceed to the next step. In the search field that appears, start typing the name of the stock or security you wish to add. Google Finance's search is quite powerful and will start showing suggestions as you type. Once you see the correct security listed, click on its name to select it. After selecting the stock, you'll need to provide more details about your investment. This includes the quantity of shares you own or are considering purchasing. Enter the quantity accurately, as it will help in tracking your investment's performance precisely. You're also given the option to specify your purchase date. This is useful for historical tracking and seeing how your investment has performed since you bought it. Pick the date when you made the purchase, or if you're planning to buy, you can leave it at the current date. Finally, with all the details filled out, click on Save to officially add this investment to your portfolio. You have now successfully added an investment to your Google Finance portfolio. Repeat the process to continue adding other investments. You can monitor the performance of your entire portfolio or individual stocks, make informed decisions with the latest market news, and even explore potential new investments directly within Google Finance. Before wrapping up, here are a few tips. Take advantage of the portfolio feature by creating multiple portfolios for different investment goals. Third, use Google Finance to stay informed with the latest market news and insights which can help you make better investment decisions. Regularly review your investments and market trends to adjust your portfolio as needed, optimizing your financial strategy. Google Finance is a powerful tool for anyone looking to take control of their financial future. By following the steps we've outlined today, you're well on your way to becoming a savvy investor, all from the comfort of your Google account. Happy investing and see you in our next video for more financial tips and tutorials.